March 12th, Precious Promises, Exodus chapter 2 verses 24 to 25. So God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel and God acknowledged them. March 11, 1942 was a dark and a gloomy day on Corregidor. The Pacific theater of war was threatening and bleak. One island after another had been forced into submission. The enemy was now confidently marching into the Philippines. Surrender was inevitable. The commanding officer of the Allied forces, General Douglas MacArthur, had only three words for his comrades as he stepped into the escape boat destined for Australia. I shall return. A little more than 21 half years later, on October 20th, 1944, he stood once again on Philippine soil after landing safely at Leyte Island. This is what he said. This is the voice of freedom, General MacArthur speaking. People of the Philippines, I have returned. MacArthur kept his word. Regardless of the odds against him, he was determined to make good on his promise. If mortal men, with all their limitations, can keep their promises, how much more so can the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and Moses? God had committed himself to the people of Israel. He had promised to bring them out of the land of Egypt, Genesis chapter 46 verse 4, and he would not fail. There are more than 7,000 promises in the Bible. Some of these are made explicitly to individuals. Others are made to nations such as Israel. Most of them, however, can be claimed by all believers. Promises such as, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. As you read through your Bible, underline each promise as you come across it. Each day pick a promise to meditate upon and at the end of the day take a few moments to thank God for being faithful to that promise. God is the greatest promise keeper of all. God makes a promise. Faith believes it. Hope anticipates it. Patience quietly awaits it. Amen.